Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna do a little vlog style video. Um, my kids, Lexi and Erin, are gonna get some um, stuff for Tokyo, our box turtle. She's getting a new setup. Tokyo is actually Lexi's, yeah. Lexi's um, pet. I got her before Christmas. Oh, and hello, guy. <laughs> so anyways guys let's go get this started we do have some rolls so we're going to Daiso to get some um, new things that I'm gonna let the kids pick out we have some rolls she can't eat it right she can't be able to eat it but but, but mm -hmm. my brother only gets to pick three or four things for Tokyo since she's my turtle and I get to pick the rest that's correct Lexi's going to be the one <coughs> who does most of the decision making and decorating because this is her pet. She's gonna do most of the cleaning too. We're gonna clean out her enclosure. True, um, true. So the rules. Yeah. It can't be something dangerous that she could eat, right? Yeah. We have a $50 limit. Yes. And I think that's it. So it has to be pet friendly. It can't be something that only you like. It has to be something that she's gonna like. So let's go. So about 45 minutes later, we are finally out. Definitely went over budget, but not by much, only like 10 bucks. And we're gonna get some boba now, and then go get the substrate. Yeah. What kind of boba did you want? Green. Green apple. Green apple. You want boba in it? Yes, please. Okay. Maybe. Love you, bye. Hi. We got our boba. I went with the passion fruit tea. And my cheeks are, I mean my cheeks are full of boba. Lexi loves boba, so they got extra boba. Show me your drink. They got the passion fruit I finished blended with extra, with extra boba. And I didn't, cause I... And for my husband, he wanted the green apple, which they didn't have, so he settled for mango strawberry. That, that sounds kind of good. So we're gonna go drop that off for him. He's been grocery shopping. And then we're gonna finish getting our supplies. Hey guys, we made it back home. We're gonna do a quick haul and then we're gonna get the rest of the stuff that we need. So go sure. ahead guys. We have the substrate and I love coming to the Serpentarium because I love their quality of insects. I don't know, it's just it's just the quality is better. I don't know how else to explain it. I feel like their quality and insects is better. So I drive a little bit further to get that better quality. All right guys, now let's go to the Reptile Depot and get some bloodworms for our fish. Uh, my husband's fish and what else do we need from there? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's go.
so Lexi's here doing a great job of setting everything up and while she is doing that I'm going to show you a quick before of Tokyo's enclosure now She's obviously been in her water today. She's like, what's going on with my home? What is going on with my home? Hey, Y'all took my water. Where's my water at? Alright guys, the best part, Tokyo is going to go in. We're going to see how she feels about her new home. Lexi worked super hard on this, so. Put her in. Yes, put her in, baby. Lexi, can you please move? Lexi, can you please move? Hold on, baby. She's going to go hide. <laughs> She's a shy girl. She it's barely just, fits in there. We got to get her a bigger one. It looked like the car. Oh, she went back in. <laughs> it looked like a oh, car. Back out. <laughs> it looked like a car, right, guys? Mm -hmm. That's her little garage. Okay, she's so bad. Beep. 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 Thank you so much for watching this video. Before we end it, I do want to just mention that this is not Tokyo's permanent home. This is um, a fun project I wanted to do with my kids, and um, it will get Tokyo through the winter. Once she is done hibernating, I'm going to upgrade her enclosure and um, change her setup to something more realistic. So I just wanted to mention that. Anyways, have a great day. Drink your water and I'll catch you guys next Thursday. Peace.